I'm so not awake yet. I am dead tired. I need coffee. Okay, now I'm awake. Don't you hate that kind of morning? Well, luckily I've teamed up with Jameson who's sponsoring this video and we're gonna show you seven daily rituals to help you energize your life. All you need is a little B12 and some melatonin to give you that extra boost of energy so that you can get rid of the weekday zombie syndrome. So let's get started. Ritual one, make your bed. The key is to start your day off on the right side of the bed. So take a few minutes to style your bedroom oasis like a pro. First things first, open up those curtains and let that vitamin D in. Straighten out all the sheets, starting with the fitted sheet. And if you've got a flat sheet, then tuck it in. Fold your duvet or comforter into thirds and place it at the bottom of the bed. The more pillows, the better. Start with the tallest pillows and put them towards your headboard. If you want that magazine look, I like to steam them every few days to get out any wrinkles and to blast out any dust mites. And at the same time, I'm getting a mini facial. And lastly, add your accent pillows and a throw to make your bed look super inviting. Don't forget the designer chalk. The whole process shouldn't take more than five minutes, so no need to stress. Ritual two, get ahead and set up your bedside table for your nighttime routine. Step one. Remove any clutter and store it in a decorative box in your drawer. For my essentials, I like everything natural. Melatonin, which will help me get to sleep and stay asleep naturally. Coconut oil to moisturize my skin at night, a diffuser, and essential oils like lavender. And a good old paper book. No electronics this time. Okay, now that everything is set up in your bedroom, you can close the door and move on to the next task. Ritual three, my morning spa. Every morning I start my day with some lime juice and some water to give my body a little detox. While the detox is happening somewhere in here, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own spa experience. Start by switching out all your colored towels for an all white palette. If you're using towel bars, layer your hand towels over the bath towel. Or you can simply fold them in half and roll them up like they do at the spa. Next, create a really cute vignette to showcase your essentials for getting ready. I love using mirrored trays because it adds reflection and I can keep everything in one spot. Gold organizers hold all of my brushes. I found this vintage glassware at the thrift store and these are great for all my makeup supplies and I cannot forget my V12 energy spray. Layer in an inspiring piece of artwork and surround yourself with something that makes you smile, like these gorgeous flowers. Before I put on my makeup, I get my daily dose of B12, which is a great way to sustain my energy levels instead of feeling all the ups and the downs. This will help me stay focused in a really natural way. If you haven't tried B12 before, it's formulated with methylcobalamin. Methyl, no wait. <laughs> methylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin. Ooh, that's nice too. I'm not gonna get this right. <laughs> Anyways, it breaks down all the food that you eat into energy. It's pretty cool. Right? Contouring, and I'm almost ready to get to work. Doing something just for yourself really adds joy to your life, doesn't it? Ritual four. This is where I edit all of my Simply Share Share videos, but depending on the time of day, I don't really get a lot of natural light. To solve this issue, I'm keeping things flexible. So I'm gonna show you a few tips on how to create an energizing and successful workspace. Yeah. Work, 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 work. This is actually a dining table that I got for $40. Pretty awesome. It's white and it helps to reflect the light. If you have piles of paper, you're less likely to see what's at the bottom. So all you have to do is use a vertical holder. It's a space saver and allows you to see everything. Now add some greenery, some plants, some succulents, it helps add oxygen into the air and clears stagnant energy in the room. Use a decorative box to store all of your loose items, like pens and sticky notes and your cell phone. You're less likely to check your phone if you don't see notifications every five seconds. Focus, focus, focus. Ritual five, reinvent your lunch hour. Shake up your lunchtime routine and go on a date with yourself. It's time for a little me time. Pack a picnic with snacks that are light and easy to eat on the go and that can fit easily into a tote bag. Things that are stored in small plastic bags are easy to munch on while you're walking and don't require a plate or a fork. Do a 10 minute walk and find your own personal serenity lounge. Lay out your blanket and take in all the beauty around you. I like to bring peppermint essential oils and put a few drops on my hands. Breathe in for a few minutes and shake off any stress from the morning. <sighs> Ritual six. Make dinner feel like a special occasion. 
After a busy day, I'm hoping to make something really easy for dinner. Leftovers. I've got 30 minutes, so here's tonight's menu. I'm doing a roasted squash, avocado, and cilantro lime rice stack. Yummy! You'll need a small bowl, a bit of oil. Now I'm just using coconut oil on a piece of paper towel to grease the inside of the bowl so that nothing sticks. Layer in your ingredients. So first the squash, then the avocado with a little bit of lime juice, and your rice. Turn it over onto a white plate to reveal your stack. Then sprinkle some fresh cilantro and you're ready to serve. Pour sparkling water or juice into a wine glass with a lemon wedge. Switch out paper to cloth napkins. And I like using gold cutlery to get even fancier. Last thing, light the candles and it's time to eat and relax. Cheers. And the last ritual, the bedtime routine. It's been a very busy day and I've had so much energy. I am really happy that I took the time to just set up all my nighttime essentials. They're all set up in my bedside table and now I can just relax and unwind. Place a few drops of lavender oil into your diffuser. In a few minutes, the air will be scented naturally and it will get you right into sleepy time mode. So the truth is I live with anxiety and I have a really hectic schedule, which means I don't always get the sleep that I really, really want. So what I do is I use melatonin and that's just a really great way to help me fall asleep and stay asleep during the night and it allows me to get the rest that I need. Really, really important, especially when you have to have your energy up all the time. So the cool thing about melatonin is that it's all natural and I'm really trying to stay on this natural kick these days and you don't have any negative side effects like you might find with other sleeping pills. Well, I am super cozy. I'm just gonna snuggle with my book read a few pages and then it's lights out. Thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you try at least one, if not all of the rituals that I showed you today. They are gonna be really life changing and I hope that they put a smile on your face. And make sure to check out Jameson's B12 and melatonin supplements. They were awesome. They really boosted my energy and all of the information is in the description box below. And after you've done that, make sure to head over to Abby Sharp's page because she's created a fun video that you're really going to enjoy. Show her some love and don't forget to subscribe. Woo! All right, I'm getting sleepy, so it's time for Lights Out. Make sure to subscribe. Give me a like if you want to see more videos like this. Follow me on social and I'll see you next time.